Hello there, Centers. My name is Italics, and I am here today with a game called Door Kickers on the PC. It's available for $15 on Steam Early Access. Got a link in the description of this video. It's gone through some new iterations since the last time I talked about it a few months ago. Chief among them is the ability for customization for your troops. A very, very good feature. What do you mean, Italics customization? Any of these guys up here, these are your troops that you have to choose from. You can swap them out at any time. We can move them around. I've already got these guys the way I want them, but I'll show you what it looks like. So we're gonna customize Endoric here, and we have different classes to choose from. Breacher, Stealth, Point Man, and Assaulter. Actually, it appears we are customizing uh, J-Man. Nonetheless, there are some shotguns now, so we've got a new type of class, the Breacher that can uh, blow open doors with their shotgun if it's locked. Each of these guns is gonna have its own stats to it, so different uh, stopping power, accuracy, etc. They're also going to have different operations, so you can see uh, one of these is semi-auto, the other are pump action, and then they have their own magazines as well. Similarly, we have a stealth class who's going to be a lot more sneaky. Silencers is not uh, is going to be a good way to not alert the enemies to your presence, and they have their own assorted stats as well. So you can really set these guys up however you want to, and there's going to be different things you're gonna be able to put in utility pouches right now, just these two items and the spy camera, but more will be added over time. Of course, that will come with each update to the early access. The way I have these guys set up is two riflers, rifleers, whatever, on each side. They're going to be kind of taking pot shots at the enemy. We're going in loud, but we're gonna to try to make them come to us. They get curious when they hear gunfire. They might come out and investigate. There's usually some people loitering out in front and around. There's a lot of bad guys here. And we're trying to save our hostages from being shot. So this guy's gonna get nervous. He he might shoot our brains out if too long of a time passes and we're not able to save her. So we want to try to do that. Backing up our first rifle, uh, the bandit, we're going to have Igor with his pistol. He is a one of our front men. So he's going to be kind of going in the front, hopefully, along with Daniel Lee, who has a shotgun. So that's the way I have things set up. So let's get things started. I'm going to try to do this without explaining every single thing, because if I do, it's just going to take a long time. No, I have not beaten this level yet, but I just kind of, I, I like to think that I know what I'm doing. For example, I just distracted anyone else who's out here with that gunfire, so hopefully they're looking in the wrong direction. Two guys were caught with their pants down, just looking the wrong way. We're going to start moving everybody into position while these guys just come out to investigate. What just happened? What were you doing, man? Lay your finger down on the trigger. We've had a casualty already. That is not good. And another one is injured. Scott Graves, I need you to compensate for your dead friend because that is not cool. We're going to start having the shotgun move up. And we're going to have the revolver go in through the other side, making sure to face down this hallway. Here we go. There he goes. Nice shot, buddy. There's another one. What a beast. What a beast. You guys just getting work done up in here. Nobody down the hallway. We gotta make sure we get to this guy as fast as possible. We're gonna have Igor backing up my uh, shotgunner. We're gonna have our last rifler with the bull pup going around the side, making sure not to get caught off guard, hopefully. Move all the way down the hallway. I don't think there's anybody else in this hallway. Nice shot. Pausing again just to get all of my ducks in a row. We're gonna move just up to this doorway. And we're going to use our flashbang in this room to try to catch anyone off guard. Move up to this door. Move up to this door. Everyone, get ready to move up to your doors. He's going in hot. Sorry, I keep pausing, unpausing just in case. Move in. No one's in there. All right, let's just breach this door and get it over with. Set a breaching charge, and you are going to throw a flashbang all the way into the back. Here we go. Oh, there's a guy, but the flashbang didn't even get a chance to go off ahead of time. All right, we need to make sure he's going to shoot the hostage. Blow it up, man. Mission is a failure. Blow it. Oh, the blowback just killed the hostage. <laughs> the breaching charge just killed the hostage. My bad. I'm, I wasn't trained in the use of explosive devices. Joan Hostage Woman was a beautiful hostage. We will always remember the way she sat quietly in her chair with her mouth gagged and her hands tied behind her back before she was unfortunately exploded by the highly skilled SWAT team managed by Italics. So now you've seen the bad effects of going into hot. We're gonna try things differently. I've got these four guys 
set up with silenced UMP-45s. So we're going to replace all of our troops with them and see if this turns out any differently. I have not done this before. We are about to uh, test this out. I also like the fact that they have 26 bullets out of 25 because the magazine apparently holds 25, but there's one in the chamber, so you get that one extra round. Nice little attention to detail there. I can appreciate that. We're going to try kind of the same initial strategy. Whoops, I didn't mean to unpause there. But we're going to have both of our men round the corner simultaneously. So we're going to have both of these guys just slip around the side. And with the silencer, they should be able... That didn't go well at all. We're doing things the other way. We're doing things the way that worked the first time. Because it worked really well actually and I don't <laughs> want to try to be sneaky when I could just do fine being loud so that's what we're gonna do you just keep moving all the way you, there's gonna be somebody down this hallway there's always somebody down this hallway so just make sure you're facing the right direction these guys are just gonna start pouring out of the room taking a little bit of damage but bandit he's gonna move all the way back here and we're gonna have shotgun man go in first Sounds like a good plan, I think. We're going to have the bullpup backing him up. And then we're going to have Pistolier sneaking in through the middle. All right, watch out. There's going to be someone in that hallway. Good job. Luckily, there's no one right behind you or else we'd really have some trouble here. Apparently, they got curious and came out to investigate. Hopefully, we still have enough rounds in the shotgun to make this work. All right, need to make sure I take care of all of these people at the same time because it gets a little... <gasps> Don't, don't, don't kill my man. Don't, sorry I keep pausing and unpausing. It's really a confusing thing. We're not going to blast the door this time. We're just going to bust in. I don't know if I should kick the door or throw a flashbang. I'll throw the flashbang, but I don't think I need it. And we're going to have this guy backing us up. Flash out. Oh, we flashed him. Killed him. Now we need to rescue the hostage. You go clear this room. Anybody in there? No. But this room, however... This room's gonna become troublesome. So let's do the thing where we set up a dual breaching charge because that is just so much fun. You guys set up your little breaching charge while the other guys... How do I tell the hostage to come with me? Order the hostage. Follow me, hostage woman. Let's just get the hostage safely to the rescue zone while we take care of this. She's just gonna like casually walk by while we're blowing up these doors. <laughs> I could do a triple blow up hostage thingy if I wanted to. All right, go. Oh, I did that totally wrong, and luckily there was a dude hiding in the closet. Whatever, you guys can just blow these up simultaneously. We took out all the bad guys. I took a little bit too long, 50 seconds of playtime instead of 37, but nonetheless, everyone survived, and the hostage lived too. Good deal, good deal. Now back to the main menu, you can see that there are a few other new missions. We've got, uh, I just did this one, so there are approximately four others that I have not done yet. A bunch more hostage situations, really, but there's quite a lot of content here. And I also like that there is a mission generator, so we can make this large. We can make this bomb defusal, and we can set opposition strength to whatever we want to. No intel, nothing. And let's see what happens when we generate it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to do a breaching charge just to end this. I think that sounds like a good idea. Let's set all of these to go codes. Go code A. Yeah, this is how you do the go codes. My bad. I messed up the go codes earlier, but we're going to set up breaching charges on all of these doors. And then we're going to blow them all up simultaneously. I wonder if they can hear this. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Blow them up. Oh, they just murdered my crew, and I was facing the wrong direction. I'm terrible at this. I need some real practice. You guys, hopefully you're better than me. Let me know what you think about this game in the comments of this video as I go through with my last remaining soldier and just get killed by somebody. <laughs> it's a really cool tile set though. I like the way this building looks and I really enjoy Door Kickers. So, you want to check it out for yourself? There is a link in the description of this video. This guy is just owning dudes. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Italix and I will see you next time. Yeah, that was a bomb. There was a bomb there. We should probably have defused that bomb.